Okay then gang, so in the last video we saw that we could use images by using the image component to output those over here. Now in this video I want to carry on using images for the header of the home screen and also the about screen so that we can add a little heart logo to the left of the title and also a background image. Now I showed you in the last video how to get those images from my GitHub repo and they're right here. So this is going to be the background image and the logo is going to look like this but smaller. Okay. So let's go about adding those into our header now. So open up your shared folder and go to header. And then the first thing we want to do is import the image tag up here because we're going to use an image next to this title. So let's add it just before this text component right here. So image, and then we need a source prop, and that is going to be equal to require. And inside require the path to the image, which is dot dot forward slash assets and then forward slash and it's called heart logo so heart underscore logo dot png now let me close that image tag off at the minute this is not going to look great and we'll see this yep it looks huge and it's pushing down game zone all the way down here so not looking amazing at the minute let's just add some styles to this to make it look a bit better so the style prop is going to equal styles dot and we'll call it header image. Okay, so let's go and add those styles down here. So we need a header image. And then inside that, all I really want to do is change the size of it and also give it some margin to bring it away from the actual title. So let's just do the size first of all, width 26 and height is gonna be 26. So hopefully that should be a lot smaller now, but there are still gonna be a couple of problems. So first of all, it's sitting above the title. I remember that's because the default direction of flex inside of you is a column. Now we wanna change the direction of the flex of this view to be row, so these two sit next to each other. So let me give this a style prop as well and set that equal to styles and then header title. So let's now go and do header title down here, like so, and set that equal to an object, do our comma after the object. And then all I'm gonna do is say flex direction and set that to row instead so they sit next to each other. Okay, not hyphened, flex direction, camel case. Okay, so if we check this out now, they should be sitting next to each other, but they're squashed up a little bit. So I'm gonna add margin horizontal to this one down here and set that to 10 pixels so it should give them a bit of breathing room. And yeah, that looks a bit better now. Okay, so we've done that. Now the next thing we need to do is a background image. Remember, we want this image over here, this game underscore BG image to show in the background, okay? So let me now come up here and I need to import a new component called image background. Now the image background component surrounds or wraps whatever it wants inside it. And in this case, it's gonna be all this stuff right here and it applies a background image to all of that stuff, okay? So all we need to do is replace this view with the image background. So image background, like so, and it's still gonna have the same styles as the view, so everything's still gonna look the same. And close it off down here, image background. Only this time, we can add a source prop and set that equal to require and then dot dot forward slash and we want to go to the assets folder and then we want whatever it was called game underscore bg so game underscore bg dot png okay so if we save this now we should see it over here on the right and there we go okay so that is looking a lot better now and if we go to the about screen then we see it there as well so this only works for the home and about, remember, not the review, because over here we don't use the custom header component. And that's absolutely fine, I'm happy with that. That is starting to look a lot better. So the next thing I wanna do now is add a modal to this project. So say we click on some kind of button up here, it opens a modal, and then from there we can add some kind of form to add a new game review. So we're gonna look at that in the next video.